All right, I enjoyed our little impromptu quick OSPF ACL lab there. Uh, glad you got to see that on live equipment so you know what's going on there. Now, with remarks, these are not required, but I'm almost to the point where they should be because access lists can become large and they become intricate. And if you've got an enterprise network and you're filtering some networks and you're allowing some sources and banning some destinations and you're doing it on a port number basis on top of that, well, that's great if you write that ACL and you get that job done. But a simple truth of this business is we're not the only admin that's ever going to be adminning this network. And of course, if you work in an enterprise network, there will be plenty of people coming in behind you and beside you to work on the network. And that person may have no idea what that ACL was trying to accomplish. And you know what I've seen people do more than once in that scenario? It's been a while, I admit. But if they can't figure out what the ACL is for, their default seems to be, well, let's go ahead and take it off. Now, you know, maybe you shouldn't do that. But the thing is, you don't even want to give them that temptation. Just write a one-line remark that says, here's what this ACL does, or vital ACL, call my number, and just put your phone number there if you want. Um, just call me before you make any changes to this. Something like that. And to use the remark command, it's very simple. We've seen it in iOS help a couple of times here. And there it is, right with deny and permit. And you just use the remark command right here. And it's a comment of up to 100 characters. So you even shorter than Twitter, but I know you can do it. And you just go from there. That's all there is to it. So again, it's just a professional thing to do. If you're writing a, a big ACL, you don't have to write them on every ACL. I mean, I realize that if you're writing a three-line ACL blocking Telnet and TFTP, the person coming in behind you should know what that means. And if they don't, they should look it up. But at the same time, for longer, more complicated ACLs, please use that remark command. Now let's talk about host and any. We used any, actually, uh, I believe in that last video. And let's talk about host and any and exactly what they represent. Because a wildcard mask of all ones and all zeros, you know, it looks a little odd at first, and especially you're in there on a multiple choice question on your exams, like, eh, I don't know about that. But not only are they legal, at times that's exactly what we need. Because sometimes we want a line of an ACL to match one specific address. And sometimes you're going to want a mask that matches everything. Especially, what are two uses for that you can come up with immediately? One we did in the last video, video before last technically, deny any, log, remember you've got the implicit, the implicit deny, but if you want to log your denies like we did, you have to write it explicitly and add the word log. Also, if you're doing an explicit permit any at the end of an ACL, so you could use it in that. So those are two situations where you might want to match all addresses. Again, all zeros in the wildcard mask means there's one match, and that's the address specified in the line. All ones means any and all IP addresses match this line. This isn't to complicate things, and you can just pick one or the other. You can use either method. But if you want to do this, you can use the word host to represent a wildcard mask of all zeros. You should definitely know that the two ACL lines you see on your screen right now Access list 6 permit 10111 and then an all zeros wildcard mask is the going to do the exact same thing as access list 7 permit host 10111. The word host just goes in front of the address where the wildcard mask goes in the back. And let's go ahead and look at iOS help there as well just for a little more reinforcement. And there's the word any, and there's the word host. So if I want this to match on 100.111, this particular line, then I could do it just like that. And just do host 100.111, or, and of course this is the source address since we're doing a standard ACL, I could put the wildcard bits after the address. It's a good little detail to note uh, for the word host, because any is going to be the same way. Now the keyword any can be used to represent a wildcard mask of all 255s. And while typing four zeros and typing the word host is about the same thing, you can type any a lot faster than 255, 255, 255, 255, especially if you don't like to type numbers. Both of these lines that you'll see in a moment would permit all traffic. And here we have them, access list 15 permit any, or access list 15 permit 0000, and then follow that with two, two uh, 55s and four octets. There is no right or wrong decision here uh, when you're configuring ACLs with host and any. 
you can choose to use them. Maybe your company is change control, says don't use them, doesn't matter. But on the exam, I would be very familiar with the proper use of both host and any. And also that you can have two lines, just like we're seeing right here, that do the exact same thing. It's just that one is using 255, et cetera, wildcard mask four times, and the other is just using the word any. Now let's talk about the order of the ACL lines. I've mentioned that importance once or twice so far, but now we're going to dig into it with an exercise here. Because while there's no right or wrong decision to make with the words host and any versus their respective wildcard mass, there is a huge decision to make when it comes to the order of the ACL lines. There is no gray area here, Mr. Hart. It's either right or it's wrong. Now, getting just two lines in the wrong order can wreck everything you're trying to do, especially the shorter the ACL. You have to be even more careful with those. Because here's an example of a very short ACL where the intent is to deny traffic sourced from 172.18.18.0/24, but to allow traffic sourced from any other subnet. So there's the deal. To make this happen, which of these four ACLs should we use? And they're each just two lines long. And I'm going to give you a little exam tip here and something. I've been taking these exams since, uh-oh, how long has it been? Seriously, it's been 16 years now. I can't believe it's been 16 years that I took my first certification exam, but it was. Everybody's got their first one, so if you haven't taken it yet, no worries. Um, but one technique I've always liked to use on a question where I'm not immediately sure of the correct answer is just to eliminate the wrong ones. I'll just write A, B, C, D on the board they give you right there. Don't write it on the screen. They get touchy about that. But just write A, B, C, D right there on the board and just cross off the wrong ones and say, okay, I know that these are wrong because the lines are in the wrong order or they're using not using wildcard mass, whatever. Um, so just use that technique. It does help because sooner or later we all see a question on an exam that we're not immediately familiar with. It happens to everybody. Everybody swings and misses on a curveball once in a while. It's just what you do after that that matters. Now let's do let's take a look at these four lines. We could eliminate the bottom two choices because they have wildcard masks of 255.000. Uh, which is the exact opposite of what we need, really. That would match on the second, third, and fourth octets, and we're matching on the first, second, and third octets of 172, 18, 18, 0. So the proper wildcard mask is 0, 0, 0, 255. So immediately we're down to two remaining possibilities. Which one is correct? You've probably already chosen it, I'm sure, because we know the logic of ACLs. You know, they're matched against packets one line at a time, top to bottom. As soon as we get a match, it's all over. The top choice will deny all packets sourced from 172.18.18.0 first. Traffic that does not match that line drops to the second line, which permits all traffic. That's exactly what we're trying to do. That's what the question asked us. Now, the second choice, and this is a great thing to remember for your exams and working with ACLs, period. The very first line is permit any, so game over. It's, it's over right there because it's impossible for any traffic not to match that line. We said any. <laughs> we didn't say anybody except these guys. We said any. So the second line in that ACL, the deny 172.18.18.0 line that's so important, it'll never be run because the first line matches all possible traffic, and again, it's an ACL. It stops right there. The permit any statement can be powerful and can be very important. It negates the implicit deny. Just be careful where you put it because when you put it first, you're permitting everything and you could write 30 deny lines after this and none of them would ever be run. So you have to be super careful with the order of your lines and your ACL. Again, if it's at the top of the ACL, it doesn't matter how many deny statements follow it. They'll never be read. So some good stuff here. We are going to dive into extended ACLs on the next video. And here we're dealing with something. We're not just working with a source address anymore. We're working with the source and destination IP addresses and a whole lot of options. So take a deep breath and we will dive into the waters of extended ACLs on the next video. See you there.